What I'm gonna do with this particular test here is it's the Borderlands 3 benchmark. All right, jumping in on that Gigabyte M28U here on Borderlands. So the Gigabyte's holding up strong. The fidelity here is really good. It's not flat. It's not flat whatsoever. Getting about 65 frames per second. The color's rich. I mean, the pond here, the reflections, the color and the detail. I love this style of artwork that Borderlands has. In a 4K screen just like this, I mean, it does wonders for it. Getting a bit more into the bright side here. Oh, that's really clean though, super clean. This particular part can be difficult for GPUs. A lot of up close detail, and I know it's not like a, you know, super high fidelity, but the artwork just with that detail is really cool. So I'm interested to actually see how the Samsung does here. Um, you know, that's a pretty hard bar to beat uh, because it did extremely well on the M28U. And firing up the Samsung. Ooh, super clean. Wow, really clean here, you guys. The pond is a little more flat, I feel like, on the Samsung though. Okay, getting into that darker scene, darker atmosphere, a little bit of a foggy layer happening here. And the Samsung, it's not falling flat, but it was a bit hazy there for a second. Just the detail you get on these up-close objects as we pan around them, just a phenomenal quality, no matter which monitor you're using. This is the kicker though right here. Oh, the acid just reflections there. The up-close detail, the line work, yeah, the way that explosion hit. I felt that was a bit smoother here on the Samsung than it was on the Gigabyte. I'll put a little side-by-side -side so you guys can see him in action here, but uh, this is a tough one. So there surely is a lot I can talk about with both of these monitors, and I think they both did fairly well today. Uh, obviously, I believe one did better than the other, and you can probably guess where I'm leaning on this. Sitting behind the wheel of the Samsung G70A was butter. The performance and that compatibility with G-Sync took the cake for me. Even though it scored lower in the pixel response rate test we did on Blur Busters, just that general feel when you sit down, you put your hand on the keys, your hand on the mouse, was by far a superior, far superior experience. At least for me it was. All right, you guys, well, I appreciate you watching the video and sticking with me this far <laughs> throughout the process. And uh, if you haven't already, go check out the homepage. We have tons of videos, you guys, tons of playlists. I'm gonna put one up above for you guys to check out. And that's gonna be a full playlist of all the gaming monitors that I've reviewed on the channel. So go check it out. And if you haven't yet, please consider joining as a member to help support the channel. It's a great way to give insight to us, be a part of the channel, and uh, get some interactive content or maybe even some pre-release content. So check out that membership, you guys. Without further ado, I'll catch you in the next video.